Medicine of maggots is an old treatment method that was used during the First World War to treat stubborn and slow healing wounds. This method is slowly coming back and is currently being used at one of Kenya's top referral hospitals. Welcome to Wanjo's Health Diary, where we explore the issue of medicinal maggots in the treatment of wounds. We have Bernard Wanyonyi who will tell us more about the medicinal wounds. But first of all, tell us more about your daily work. What, what do you do? I'm um, a research technologist, uh, mostly working with maggot growing, rearing maggots in the lab. Tell me more about the medicinal maggots. Which species are they and how do you grow them within the restricted lab conditions? Yeah, medicinal maggots are, are maggots from a serious alicata fly, which is commonly known as green bottle fly. This fly is found all over the world and mostly they are found in dry, humid conditions. Mm -hmm. In terms of growing these maggots, take us through the process, you know, from the first stage until when you say they're ready for them to be transferred to um, the health facility or the home where you're treating it on the wound? Yeah, first of all, uh, as any other fly, Lucilia salicata or a green butterfly has three stages of its life cycle. We have the adult stage, we have the egg stage, larvae stage, and then the pupa, and then the cycle back to the adult. So far, first of all, when we want to grow markers for the hospital, we are given an order from the hospital. The first thing we do is we, we mix the liver substrate with wheat bran at a ratio of one to one, and introduce in a, a cage we of adult flies. Leave it for two hours. The smell of the liver will attract the female flies to come and lay eggs on it. After the eggs are laid, they are sterilized chemically and washed in distilled water. And then they are incubated in egg yolk at that 30 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. They will hatch in the maggots. The, mark, the hatched maggots are washed in distilled water, counted, and depending with the size of the wound. Then they are packaged either in a bio sack. Okay, and what is a bio sack? A bio sack is a, is a piece of cloth which is made locally. And with this one, we have the dimension of the size of the wound. And given that the maggots are really so small, so tiny, how are you able to count them and decide, you know, this is the number that is specific for this wound? Yes, we can't be exactly, but you can just count approximately by heaping. Count 100 maggots and you see this heap is around 400, then you, you add approximately. From the lab, we, they are supposed to, to be 24 hour, hours old. Mm -hmm. And as we, we said, we pack them either in a bio sack or a container, yeah. and then put them in a cool box mm -hmm. and transport at least within 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So it has to reach the patient within 24, 12 hours. Okay. Finally, what, are, what is your hope in terms of the acceptance of using medicinal maggots in the treatment of slow, stubborn wounds? Uh, to me, I see it's growing up. We have patients, home-based patients, as far as from Bungoma, uh, coming for these services at Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. So it's, it has proved that it is working. But what is making it to be a bit 
difficult is that if we have colonies of maggots near almost every county, it will be cheaper for the, farm, for the patients. Mm. Because someone coming from Mombasa, he will have to be housed, accommodated here in Nairobi, which is very expensive. Thank you so much, we really appreciate. And you know, that's it, you've had it. So we have adopted new ways or improved ways of treating um, stubborn wounds, and this is through maggot therapy. Thank you. Thank you.